What's up, patrons? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man George. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to the free thinkers. Thrash Week just keeps oh, on yeah. rolling. Oh, keeps yeah. Keeps on rolling. Thrash Week has been uh it's been good, man. We we've really enjoyed yeah, man. the response from you guys, man. It seems like you guys are enjoying it and we're enjoying ourselves kind of going through Thrash. Yeah, we wanted to get back to a big dog though, but it's a big dog <laughs> that we haven't really like ex- explored enough of, I think. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. We did Sepultura, uh Roots Bloody Roots. We did uh, Dead Embryonic Cells. Mm-hmm. Didn't like Roots Bloody Roots, but love of dead embryonic cells yeah. so i'm like okay so we're, it's still kind of up in the air we haven't really explored simple tour outside the channel dead uh, dead embryonic cells for me is, is on my playlist but really haven't explored them right. too much outside the channel. So we still don't we still don't really know where we stand with Sepultura. And Inner Self, uh, got a lot of requests for Inner Self. Um, it wasn't up there with some of the, you know, the other popular options. Cause I mean we we looked at the views on some of the other options um that we've been uh, from some of the requests from yeah. you guys on YouTube. This one um was a decent request, but definitely not in the upper echelon of requests that we've gotten. But a lot of you guys said, like, this, man, fuck what everybody else is talking about. Y'all need to, if y'all want to know what's going on with Sepultura, listen to this song, Inner Self. A lot of you say it's, it's a more of a cult classic for them. So we wanted to take that route, man. We're trying to we're trying to, uh, to really get to the heart of it, uh, thrash, man. So if we're going to do a, a popular thrash band, let's do some raw shit from mm-hmm. them. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to get to, you know, some gems that, you know, that could easily be overlooked, right? Yes, sir. So that's kind of what we want to do, man. Like that Annihilator. That, like that Annihilator, ass mm-hmm. in hell. Um, you guys, man, we got a lot of brownie points for, for that. And we got a lot of brownie points for Mars Volta, man. So we love when we kind of nail it. You know what I mean? Nail the, the, uh, the song choice, nail the group. So let's get into this, yeah, man. man. Supple tour, digging a little bit deeper. Uh, inner self. your boy i love God. the way they came in on this though man Damn. the way that this shit started was just nasty and rough did you hear the double bass that uh was the, the, the double uh kick drum i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right or describing that right but the way that they that were shit. that shit was crazy man they are not lollygagging with this crazy song. the way that this came in i feel like this is uncompromised thrash that's what i feel like right yeah. now this is like i'm raw <laughs> grimy <laughs> God, we just came in. I almost want to start it over, but I ain't gonna do that. But wow, yeah, I think I'm gonna start it over and then speed it up. No, <laughs> speed it up and then fast forward it. Oh, fast forward it. I was like, speed it up. But why would you That's uh, crazy. do that? That Man, would be fucked up. If you don't mind, sir, let me just bring that on back. <laughs> yeah, this shit was just yeah. That riff right there, that's like a psychotic riff. Yeah, they're not, they're not playing. God, please. 
Metallica was like the fucking high school, <laughs> the high school quarterback, man. You know, the girls liked him and shit. The fellas wanted to be him. They was the jots and shit. And, oh these, and these motherfuckers was on the other side of the lunchroom. They wasn't at the jot table. These was the disturbed motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah you didn't want to fuck with these dudes on, 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 in school, man. These are the dudes that, <laughs> that were terrorizing people. You stayed away from these guys. They, they weren't the, all the, the, uh, the motherfucking America's sweetheart college quarter but that's how i feel right now man i'm yeah. sorry <laughs> i feel like yeah his shit is like, like grimy straight up is like pure uncut thrash to me that's yeah. what this shit sounds like yeah God. it's pretty raw man it's pretty raw and why somebody say you yeah. think that this is thrash i got some heavier shit for you i know you're, we're gonna see that in the comments yeah i'm, I'm sure you shit, can always get you can always get crazy yeah, you can always heavier. get worse and worse and worse it, with anything yeah right? exactly <laughs> Picking the word worse and shit, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, what do you think about the song? Not that you, nah, <laughs> you know, man, it's, it's thrashed out, man. But you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's funny, man, because going into this, I was like, yeah, man, um, I, I love the fact that we're doing this thrash reap and we can get kind of uh, dig into the to the actual subgenre here and still and hear like some songs that we probably would have never listened to. And um, I thought that sounded like a good idea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now that we're kind of getting into it, man, you know, I'm like, maybe I don't like thrash, man. <laughs> maybe it's like, uh, I don't oh, know. Oh, you want thrash? You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh you want thrash? Um, you know, it's one of those things, Here's though. thrash for you. Yeah, it's one of those things, man. Like, the way this song started, I thought it was nasty. And I was like, yeah, this is going to be crazy. But it is raw, man. It is raw. <laughs> and, I, you know, I'm going to... I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep uh, the faith alive for, for thrash, man. I, 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 I just, thought I really really like thrash, man, <laughs> but I'm getting a, a, a deep dive in the thrash. You know what I'm saying? With the exception of um, Alice in Hell, that was fire. These dudes, they were stuffing people in lockers in high school. They were doing, they were dumping dudes <laughs> upside down. You know what I mean? With their heads and toys, they call them swirlies. They were mm -hmm. dumping dudes upside. They were giving wedgies in high school. That's simple tour, man. Yeah, you know I don't know. Saying, I don't they, know about they, all that. They didn't, that, that. they didn't do that at the schools I went to. Yeah, whatever. Just the, the, <laughs> the stereotypical high school shit that bully you would shit. see in movies. Yeah, bully shit. Yeah, they, that's what these dudes uh, represent to me, man. This is not. They are not playing games, man. Let's keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> I want to change my way It has to be this way I live my life for myself Forget your filthy ways Blame and lies Contradiction arise Blame and lies Contradiction arise Mercy, just no yeah. mercy, man. They're showing Ryan no mercy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. This is no um, mercy. Woo. God dang. Yeah, man. Uh, they're getting it in. Gotta take a break. But you know what, though, man. Um, you know, putting my objectivity hat back on, man. They are playing at an extremely high <laughs> level, man, and they are just. This is kind of like a a thrash clinic, man. They're playing really well. And I and I, the things I like about Thrash, they're doing very well. But I don't like the song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's like, like a, it's it's to me, it's just sort of know? um, it's a how can I put this? Sort of, it's a sort of an overdosage of what you like about Thrash. Right. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? They're overdosing you with Thrash. Like you yeah. like Thrash, but you don't like like Thrash. Yeah. No, 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 no. I think I do like it though. No, I, mean, I, I feel, I feel, I feel like I feel like this is what people who really like. The epitome of like thrash, like this is what thrash really is at its core, at its rawest level, 
Because the reason why I'm really enjoying this song, Ryan, is it reminds me of certain types of hip hop that I would never recommend to a metalhead. Mm -hmm. Ever in life recommend to a metalhead or someone, not even a metalhead, just someone who doesn't listen to rap. To rap. Nah, like, it's just street shit, raw, talking about shooting, killing people. No, I understand the context and understand what's going on with that and right. why that is. Mm -hmm. It's just too much to try to explain and, and backstory and show and tell you and talk about historical reasonings for why they're saying what they're saying. I, I don't have time to be explaining all that. I get that. And I'm never going to recommend certain artists that represent that for that reason. It, it, but it's raw as fuck, and it's just it speaks to a different type of primal sort of relentlessness. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and that's kind of what this is to me. So yeah. I appreciate it because it remind. Hey, I like it. I think it, they, they're killing it. But I do really more so. I think like it because it represents just the rawness that I that I feel about certain artists in hip hop that I just know this is just not for everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I, you want to hit listen to hip hop, and there's certain artists that give you a little bit of rawness, but they can. You know, they can metallica it out. They could, you know, they can soften it up a little bit. They can go melodic and this yep. and that. Mm -hmm. And there's this dudes that's just like street, uncompromising. I'm talking, I'm talking about my life. I don't give a fuck if you can't relate to it. Yeah. That's what this is to me. And I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love that about this. About you know, what it though, yeah, what, yeah, what, what it represents. Saying, what it represents. Yeah. I and I you. think that just this shit is just raw. I appreciate how hard they're going. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I got you. So let's keep it going though. We're gonna keep it going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but someday you fall. These dudes are like the Undertaker and Metallica's, in like, and Metallica's like Hulk Hogan and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know or like The Rock and shit. Yeah, The Rock. Yeah, like, you know, the People's Champ and shit. The People's Champ. Still, yeah. they get busy. You know what I mean? The Hulk Hogan was no joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're, and they're the dudes. You know what I mean? They're the kings. But The Undertaker's just... You know what I'm saying? Still a force to be reckoned yeah. with and is like feared. I feel like The Undertaker, I'm not a big wrestling guy. Was The Undertaker like more feared? I don't remember. I feel like he was more feared. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I know. We got some wrestling fanatics out there and I did not. <laughs> I was a like very, very casual wrestling watcher. You know what I'm saying? But I feel right. like The Undertaker had this, they were more feared. Like I could feel, I feel like if these guys, I could just see other bands going on and doing their thing. Mm -hmm. But like the mood and the energy change when these guys were introduced. Like like I can see the bells, ding, lights get dark. They walk to the stage, hair covering their faces, yeah. <laughs> walking to the stage, not saying anything. Right. No no uh, theatrics, just brutal, just brutal, brutalizing their set. That's how I, I picture this band. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just like it, man. I like it. Hey, I'm not mad at you, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That's why we're all different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I can, I can completely understand. Of course I can understand. The same way that I understand that when I when I play certain types of hip-hop for people, they're like, get the fuck. What are they? Oh, my God. What are they talking about? That's you know, so crazy. Like, I feel you, though, I man. I get it. I get it. But I'm just, just expressing my band. I'm, yeah. I'm enjoying this. I feel I you, though, I man. think I'm enjoying this, and I'm enjoying your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> when we started this channel, man, and we started on this journey and we and we got into different genres, man, um, I knew it was gonna I was gonna have to push myself to listen to things that's outside of my comfort zone. I knew that. And the same thing with you. And I think, man, um, you know what, we're two years down the line and uh some of the songs that I've never thought I would listen to, I listen to now. Yeah. And some songs that I never thought I would listen to is still things I'm not gonna listen to. And I think this is just one of those things that I'm still never going <laughs> to like. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, yeah, but I, I hear what you're saying about the I aggression. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think that that's true. I think you make a, a, a good point when people um, 
Really, if, if you kind of put yourself in a in the place of a person that listens to yeah. very very thrashed out like the rawness maybe like the bare essence of uh, the the subgenre man, yeah. um, but I appreciate the gateway bands like the Metallica yeah. and stuff like that because 100%. if it wasn't for them I never would we even here. give this a chance yep. you know what I'm saying we so, get here. so you know I'm just trying to process it man and, that's and, all and let's not get it misconstrued the, I'm sure I mean there's gonna I like this. You know what I'm saying, but I can only take but so much of this as well. Right. Like this, I, I don't know if I can listen to songs like this back to back to back to back to yeah. back. So uh, I have my cap, and I'm sure that there are bands that are a lot more brutal. You know what I'm saying? Than this, I'm sure we have probably done bands that were crazy. We've done Meshuggah. We've done yeah, some pretty brutal, true. crazy bands as well that are just like ah. So everybody has that cap, where it's like it's a little bit too <laughs> too much, bro. You know what I mean? I appreciate it, but it's a little bit too much. All right, let's finish it up, guys. <laughs> No, you go ahead, man. man you go I, ahead. That, that my my shit's going to be short. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I don't know, man. That was raw. Man. <laughs> that, that was a lot. That was a lot. That was raw. That's going on the playlist, though. That's going on the playlist. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think that that was um, a, just a great display of raw aggression. I thought that, um, dude, the drummer was going crazy. I think the riffs were just so mean. You know what I mean? Just so brutal. Throughout this entire thing, man, the transitions I thought were pretty good. I do think vocally, the vocalist, I'm still a little iffy on the vocalist, um, but the music itself, um, I just think represents such a, uh, a primal raw. One of the things I like about thrash in general, even some of the more, you know, the let the more tame thrash, it, it still has a sort of primal nature about it, a rawness about it. That's what we've always said that we've enjoyed about thrash. So I just appreciate that 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 it, that was this, you know what I mean? This was that rather, mm -hmm. but in and just on such a, a, a more, just a higher level of potency. You know what I'm saying? This is raw, uncut, yeah. brutal, uncompromising thrash. That's just what I appreciated about it. Crazy drumming, hardcore riffs. So I thought that that was a great, I thought they did a great job in, give, in giving you uncut thrash, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, was, that was great. You know what I'm saying? So play this for me, but I will not be playing that a lot. But it will be something that I'm going to revisit from time to time when I just want to get some aggression out and maybe hit the gym and go hard, hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, like almost strain myself, almost drop weight on my head hard. Right. That extra rep that you know you shouldn't really be trying to get, but you're going you're gonna to try anyway. <laughs> like that hard. All right. That's it. I'm done. You know, guys, man, um, this is the hardest part of what we do for me. Um, and what I mean by that is because I like to have a good time, man. You guys, you should know me by now, man. And um, I really try to see the glass half full instead of half empty, man. And I really try to give people their flowers. And I try to just be upbeat and all that kind of good stuff, man. Um, but with all that being said, man, um, I never want to be disrespectful. I never want to um, talk badly about any band in any genre man sometimes it's just hard so that's why i said I'm, I'm giving you all that to show you that this is the hardest part about my job here on the channel because i hate giving critical feedback that can come off with a negative connotation so please try to bear with me while i give you this feedback this sounded like chaos to me this sounded like um this sounded like a band made a song with elements of thrash throughout it, but I'm going to do it my own way. I don't care if one person likes it 
or nobody likes it. You know, I'm going to do it my own way. And when I, yeah, exactly. And when I look at some of the lyrics here, man, I won't change my way. You know, no one can change my way. Um, you know, uh, this is the way it has to be. My, my, I live for my life for myself. Um, forget your filthy ways. I don't know what that means, but I'd have to um, kind of look more into that as far as the uh, the lyricism. But what I'm getting from this, I live for myself. I won't change my way. I, it feels like I'm making this for me. Maybe inner self is maybe a, um, I'm, I'm going my own direction. Maybe Stand I don't know. Am, yeah. Perhaps. You know, um, and I'm not I'm really going to, right. I'm not going to follow in, in anyone's footsteps and things like that. And that's what this sounds like to me, man. It sounds Good like yep. very, <laughs> um, you know, re like, like rebellious. You know what I'm saying? That's what it sounds like to me. So, um, again, guys, th this had a lot of elements within Thrash that I liked. The way this started, I thought was great. I was like, you know what? I may, be, I may get into this. But uh, the, the longer it went on, man, and I, it just, it was a very, very hard listen f to me. But, or for me, I should say. But I will say, man, that they did their, they did their thing. I just, it's just not for me. And, um, you know, I tried to be as objective as possible throughout this, man. And I'm trying to be as uh, Ryan, objective. you have a goddamn right to your opinion, sir. <laughs> it is your opinion. It is subjective. I feel you, I feel man. like we got to say that shit. I feel you. So, I think people, it's just weird how, uh, like, you think people would, based off of, like, what you see, you just like, do you not realize that music is subjective? I think people mm -hmm. forget that because they love, they're, they're so passionate. And I know we keep bringing this up in comments and everything. But, yeah. you just think, but I just want them to, and I'm glad you said that. I just really want you guys to know that, um, um, I really do care about uh, being uh, respectful to all genres and all music, man. So um, not for me, but those are the things that I kind of noticed about this song. And I just think that um, that it was more of a, a rebellious thrash I agree with that, though. version. Yep. Uh, for and that. I love how you incorporated the lyrics because I feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? Inner self to me is just uh, going against uh, trends and not compromising who yeah. you are. That's kind of how I'm taking the song. You know what I mean? Just stay true to your the core, the core of who you are, and this to me represented probably. I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not an expert on Sepultura, but it seemed like it represented the core <laughs> of who they are: brutal, unrelenting, yeah, thrashed out core, core thrash. So, yeah, that's it. You know, what yeah, I mean? man. Yeah, good feedback. So I probably wasn't ready, man. I wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm saying <laughs> I'm surprised I was ready because that I, 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 I was right up my alley for the day. Maybe it was just the mood I'm in. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the end of the video. You know, let us know what you thought of that video yes, in the comments. I'm George. That's Ryan, Las Vegas. We out. We out.